roasts. We do special roasts for chefs, small lots of coffee that we may send around the world. Carl Staub is an engineer and physicist who creates equipment for the food industry. French fries, that was probably our first foray into food, uh, making an analyzer that accurately looked at the degree of pre-fry or pre-cook for French fried potatoes. For like. It was for McDonald's. Now he's turned his scientific talents to roasting coffee. This is how the coffee comes in from different countries. We buy this from a broker. You can look inside the bag here and see the seeds. Staub says coffee is more complex than people realize has uh, over 860 constituents that make it up. Second most complex is red wine with 257 constituents. So it's really an amazing material to work with. Staub consults with coffee companies like Starbucks and Folgers. He also teaches others to make good coffee. Did you smell this? I mean, this Reno cardiologist Costa Arger has become a fan of Staub's coffee. With someone like Carl, he can help define why is this one not tasting good and why does this one taste better. So what's the biggest mistake people make at home? Staub says getting the water too hot is one problem. Coffee is like wood. It's like a medium density wood. It's polycellulose. If the coffee grounds are too hot, they swell up and expand. They become something called a selective membrane. The big molecules that give you all the flavor and body in the coffee get trapped. They won't come out. You get bitter, astringent, metallic tasting coffee. Staub recommends using a French press for great coffee at home and has this tip for getting the water just right. At this altitude, it usually boils around 207, 208 degrees. Okay. So you bring it to a rolling boil and you let it settle for a minute or two before you let it contact the grounds.